So it's been about four and a half months since I first activated this system. It was uh, last couple of weeks in uh, June when I commissioned it and started powering the house with it. And I thought I'd just give an update of some of the things that I, I've done since then. Really the only thing is that I've added those four modules. If you saw the original video, I started with uh, that stack on the right, which is six modules high, which is 30 kilowatt hours. And uh, that turned out uh, for the first two weeks it ran, that was fine. Uh, summer hadn't hit yet. This is, uh, we're down here on the Northern Gulf Coast and uh, not Florida, but uh, north part of the Gulf Coast. And it got hot in July and August, and that started uh, using up the battery capacity overnight. That's where the problem came in. So I added four more modules, and since then, uh, there's been no issues at all. The only issue I had then was uh, I got down to 20% on the battery charge uh, on several occasions. And then on one of them, it actually dropped a little bit below and cut the power off. I had to come out and flip back to the grid real quick. Uh, that's something that you can uh, change in here when you go to the battery setup. And I believe it's on discharge where it says uh, shut down. It's got a voltage and a 20%. You can change that percentage. That's the factory default there, and I just left it that way. But uh, that's what it's doing right now. It's a uh, little after one in the afternoon. I got down to 49% uh, state of charge this morning and it's been charging back up ever since. Over the last three and a half months that this has been connected, uh, I've been using about 22, uh, kilowatt hours every night when I say every night from the point where the battery starts discharging and to the point in the morning when I get enough solar on my panels to uh, stop using any of the battery that's where I'm getting those percentages and that's where I've determined over the last three and a half months I use about 22 kilowatt hours last night it was pretty chilly here and uh, you heard that it finally got got cooled off it was pretty chilly here last night and uh first time i believe ever i've used 25 kilowatt hours so it was down to 49 48 49 percent state of charge this morning and uh i was going to put my clamp on meter on there while it was pushing some heavy current but it's only down to 1900 watts now the battery's only taking what is that 730 watts so that's not that much the other thing i did as I built this bus bar, since I did add, originally the, the stack of six was wired directly into the uh, inverter, going into the trough right there, and then going into the inverter, which I should have had this open for y'all already. But uh, as you can see right there, not connected to the grid still, just like in the original setup. This still not doesn't have any power going to it. It was it was put here in case I ever did. See, there's no power coming in. Uh, it's not connected on the other end. And so, but when I decided to add those uh, additional modules over here, I didn't want to piggyback any lines together. And uh, uh, engineer seven seven five Scott Hunt, you know his his recommendation too was a bus bar. And so I built this one using some parts I got from uh, eBay. Uh, solid copper bus bar and uh, uh, insulator kit that was on eBay. So that wasn't bad. I've got about a hundred and something dollars invested in all the parts to make that uh, bus bar. And I made a uh, plexiglass cover for it. And that gave me the ability to add those four modules and I even left myself a couple of studs. One day I'd like to have enough money to put another 15K in here, and that's what I'll put on uh, one set of those studs. And who knows, maybe another stack of batteries, and that would be three bat three stacks of batteries and uh, uh, two inverters one day, maybe. 
But anyway, the information I was wanting to share with you is that all, all from the commissioning to now, I use about 22 kilowatt hours a night. And, uh, and again, like I said, from uh, uh, battery discharged, when the battery stops discharging. Uh, if you look at the other video, you see the house, about 1,900 square feet, too many splits plus a four-ton unit. Um, just me and my wife, ceiling fans run all the time. Uh, you know, just some ideas of what it takes to put something off the grid. But anyway, I might do a more direct video on this uh, bus barn. Just a little short one just to show how I put it together. But you can see that. It might, might not be necessary. Bought a 12-inch piece of that uh, inch and a half by three-eighths copper and cut it in half. Supposedly, that's supposed to handle almost a thousand amps anyway in free air like this. I did put some vent holes in the top so that it doesn't trap any warm air if it ever got warm, but so far it never has. Uh, anyway, uh, maybe you'll find this useful. Uh, like I said, I started with uh, 30 kilowatt hours, and as I was told by another fella, whatever you think you need, you need to double it. Well, I darn near doubled it anyway. That was my finances. Otherwise, I would have had two more on top of there. But for the last month now, or at least two months, uh, made it all the way through the rest of the summer with uh, no shutdowns, completely off the grid in the house. Uh, AC set on 76, and it runs as it needs to run, plus the, the, the mini split in here to keep this uh, power plant cool. And the one that's over on the, the cat sanctuary over there that uh, was in the other video um yeah any questions i'd be happy to answer them hope this helps some of y'all